Braden's got some music must have. Hi, Braden. Hello, how are we? Good. Really well. What you got? Well, we're going back a, a year or, or 20 now. <laughs> oh, don't um, say that. We've got a couple of re-releases today. And, you know, we talk about this quite often, don't we? You know, you've said it before, 1997 feels like it was just a couple of years ago. Yeah. So it wasn't. No. Um, look, Savage Garden, uh, their debut Savage Garden is being re-released out on wow. CD. So and they were huge when they first came out, Monstrous. They? Monstrous. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Name drop. No, Sorry, no. I've met them. No, I haven't. No, I haven't met oh. them now. I have. I have. I, do have. I have. I've met them. Nice guys. Oh, you can take it. Yeah. Finally. Good. Finally. <laughs> As if we couldn't remember, let's have a wee listen. Let's take a trip down memory lane with this one. Jazz hand he's got going on there. See the yeah, all the sides yeah. were there back then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't need to buy it. I think I've still got my copy stashed in a box. So. <laughs> and I may occasionally listen to it as well. No, no, good. No, they're good. Yeah. I like Savage Garden. Um, and, and no shame with the, this one either. REM are re-releasing Automatic for the People Green, uh, the best of as well on CD2. One of my favourite bands of all time, actually, REM. Wow. Yeah, and uh, of course, this massive hit. <laughs> So, so I'm going to put you on the spot here. When they re-release these albums, do they do anything different to them? Um, often there will be bonus tracks on these right. albums, okay. or it might be a deluxe edition, or it might be just the fact that by the time we get to 2016, it's a bit scratched and people want that nostalgia of True. owning it on CD because it's not like vinyl. You know, vinyl was kind of gone by the time these albums came out. We were buying them on CD. We were buying the CD singles. So... It's a nostalgia thing. It's something you can hold. It seems CD. a little bit yes. interesting, you're right, when in 2016 we can just go and download it on, on iTunes or get it on Spotify. But when you hold something in your yep. hand, yeah. there's just something about that. And flick through the lyrics and sing along with your hairbrush in the mirror. Yeah, it's bright and true. Hey, uh, to, to more recent stuff, I really like this new song. It's Christine and the Queens, and it's called Tilt It. But I'm actually good, can't help it if we're tilted. I am So French, uh, been around since about 2008, but sort of I think this will be the first big one we see. And I, I'm making a prediction. I could be wrong that we might see this shoot up the charts. So, Ooh, small yes, prediction yeah. there. Heard it here first. I'll yeah. deny it when you hold me to it, though. <laughs> um, and I know I can't get your version, your singing version of Fast Car out of my head now. Ooh, Mike, who's gonna fast car? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, stop! Make yeah. it stop! Okay, so so uh, that that was Jonas Blue. Now there's a new one from Jonas Blue. It's called Perfect Strangers. Maybe So Jonas Blue, not the singer there, that's uh, a guy called JP Cooper. Uh, he kind of got his start doing what a lot of people are doing now on YouTube, you know, doing covers of other songs, just a guitar in a bedroom. Uh, where it was once upon a time we used to sit there with a cassette recorder and do that. <laughs> yeah. Now it's all out there on YouTube. So that's how he came about. And I'm really liking that song at the moment too. Nice. Yeah. I'm loving all this new music. I actually miss not being exposed to new music, which is why this is one of my favourite segments, Braden. Thank you very much. You're not heard of Spotify. They're not, well, I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this thing called Discover I, Weekly. I have Braden. Anyway, right. yeah, thank you so much, Braden. No worries. It's been a pleasure.